If you're a small channel that's struggling to grow on YouTube right now and you wanna gain subscribers and get views even faster than you have been in the past or than you could ever imagine, then you need to implement the strategy that I'm about to share with you in this video. In fact, it's helped this creator gain 10,000 subscribers, this creator 25,000 subscribers, this creator 50,000, and this creator over 100,000 subscribers in just a 30 day period and the same exact thing can happen to you if you simply implement this new method to grow that has just come to YouTube. But I will warn you, if you skip just one part of this video, it's going to be the reason that this method does not work for you, and it's going to be the reason that ultimately you fail to grow on YouTube during the easiest time ever to grow on YouTube. Now, before I can share the method with you, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you want to grow quicker on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, I literally upload a video about how to grow on these platforms every single day. In addition to that, I created a free YouTube growth course that'll share with you things like the best time to be posting right now, which unfortunately, we're not going to have time to cover in this video. So please, go to the link in the pinned comment below and get into that right now. It is 100% free. Step number one is you need to go through your niche and find 15 to 20 search terms that people are searching for right now. The reason that I want you to focus on search is for two reasons. One, it gets you really good at creating content. Two, it could get you views 24 seven forever. Way too many small creators focus on trying to get views from browse features or trying to get views from suggested videos and it is one of the worst things that you could do. You wanna go after search results in the beginning because there's actually a feedback loop. If you try to get suggested videos or recommended videos, you don't know why your video didn't get pushed out. If you're you're posting on search, you know exactly why it didn't get pushed out because it wasn't better than the other videos that are currently ranking for that thing in search. And this doesn't only apply to long form videos, this also applies to short form videos, which was, by the way, is one of the quickest ways to grow on YouTube right now. On top of that, it's going to help you get views 24 seven forever. You know exactly what you're targeting. And if you have these 15 to 20 terms, you can make several videos about them and you can continue to update those videos on them. And this is how as a small YouTuber, you can actually compete with channels that have 500K subs, a million subs, even three or four million subs. And this is the new method that so many small YouTubers are using to grow right now. But there's so many other key factors that we need to cover in this video that are going to affect whether or not you see success doing this. The second thing that we need to cover when it comes to this method is that it's going to help you build a catalog of content. If you don't understand how YouTube works, when somebody views one of your videos, two things then happen. If they like that video and YouTube knows that they liked it, YouTube is then going to suggest your past videos to that individual and they're going to suggest your future videos to that individual. So what does this mean? mean? It means that you need a catalog of content. You don't want your first video on YouTube to go viral. You want to have 12, 15, 20 videos out there so that your videos can continue to get suggested so that you can continue to get views. You can build up ravenous fans and basically that's going to train the YouTube algorithm to find more people that actually like your content. Mr. Beast didn't hit 100 million subs and all the creators that I share with you in the beginning of the video didn't get tens of thousands of subs from one video. They got that many subscribers by YouTube finding a thousand people that really like their stuff which didn't require millions of views, tens of thousands of views. It just required them building up that audience, continuing to put out content like that, and then YouTube did the rest with finding new people that look exactly like that original thousand people, and ultimately, that is how you grow a YouTube channel right now. Because if you don't know, the way that the YouTube algorithm works is they favor creators that have a catalog of content so that they can show their past videos and their future videos to people. YouTube doesn't just care about somebody enjoying that the video that they're currently watching on your channel. They want people to have a high session time. YouTube doesn't want people to come on, watch one video, and then get off of the app. They want people to stay on YouTube all day long. They want them to watch TV on YouTube, watch all of their stuff on YouTube, go to YouTube to learn things, and that is why you can take advantage of this with search and with having a catalog of content, which again, is why you you need 15 to 20 search terms. I don't care what niche you're in, you're gonna be able to do this. Okay, now that you know that you need 15 to 20 search terms and you know why, we actually have to go through what you're going to be doing with this content because this is going to be making all the difference. If you mess this step up and the step that I share with you after this, it's going to be the reason that you do not see success with this. And again, it is easier to grow on YouTube right now than it ever has been before. Shorts are showing up in way more placements than long form videos and a lot of creators aren't creating shorts yet, which has made the ultimate opportunity for a small channel to begin creating shorts, to get their watch time up, to start showing for a search. And overnight, you can literally go from having no subscribers to having 100,000 subscribers. I have seen dozens and dozens of people gain over 100,000 subscribers in less than a week right now on YouTube. And I'm not talking about people that were full-time creators or people that were really good at creating content. I'm talking about people just like you that struggle to grow, have uploaded several videos before, haven't seen success, or maybe have seen a little bit of success and then have fallen off. You can do the same exact thing. I'm telling you guys, this is your opportunity. Now, when it comes to you actually having those 15 to 20 search terms, what you need to do now, you need to go under those search terms, look at all your competitors' videos, make note of a few things. One, what the actual script of their videos are. Two, 
what the title of their video is, and three, what the thumbnail of their video is. Now what you need to do, you need to craft videos for these search terms that are better than that. Now I'm not telling you to try once. You need to try two, three, four, maybe even five times. But what this is gonna allow you to do, you know what kind of content you're gonna be creating for the next two or three months. I want you to look at this not as a, hey, I'm gonna have success overnight type of thing, but hey, I'm gonna do this for the next 90 days and I'm going to see some kind of growth on YouTube and the growth is probably gonna be a lot more than you could have ever imagined if you do this. So you have the 15 to 20 terms, you go through, do some competitive analysis. What does the thumbnail look like? What does the title look like? What does their actual content look like? And then you make better content for that. Not just one video, like I said, multiple videos for each search term so that you could test multiple titles, multiple ways of editing, multiple ways of telling a story and multiple thumbnails because that is what's going to make you successful on YouTube. Again, as long as you don't skip the next thing that I'm about to share with you after we talk about what to do if this doesn't work. So if you upload these videos and it doesn't work, it's not because YouTube hates you. It's not because you're a terrible YouTube creator. It's simply because your videos didn't get more watch time or you didn't show the YouTube algorithm as good as the other videos that your video should actually rank for search for this thing. And I need you to understand something. When you're trying to rank for search, this is not about going viral. In fact, this is about getting hundreds of thousands of views, millions of views over a long period of time. And again, these searches are incredibly valuable because once somebody searches for something within your niche, it could be music. It could be comedy, it could be crypto, it could be fitness, it could be finance, it could be anything. Pokemon, I don't care what it is. Then YouTube knows what that user is actually interested in and they're gonna get suggested all of your other videos so long as you're actually creating content that is complementary to whatever they were searching for. Okay, so now that you've done all that, there are two other steps that we need to be taking. The first one is you need to make sure, especially if you're uploading shorts, that you have another video pinned in your comment, in your comment section, and that you're telling people that they need to watch that video. Now you're probably wondering how on earth you can accomplish this. The way that you accomplish this, in the last three seconds of your video, you need to bring up a new problem. For example, if I was showing you this video, and I already did this in a call to action of this video, I would tell you that in the pinned comment below, you can find out the best time to post on YouTube. Why did I say that? Because odds are, if this is your first time watching my channel, you also wanna know the best time to be posting on YouTube, so you're gonna go check that out. Or if you've watched my channel before, I told you there was a new best time to post on YouTube, so you think that you need to get the updated version. Obviously, neither of those things were lies. I'm simply just making the call to action more relatable to the actual audience, which raises a percentage of people that actually take it. And you can do the same exact thing in your shorts. And again, you could do this with a pinned comment because right now you can't be linking out to different videos and things like that. You will be able to do that in the future, but for right now, if you want to keep people on your channel when it comes to shorts or long form content, try doing it in the pinned comment and again, bring up another issue for them. You've already solved something for them with your video. That was the point of you making the video that then relates to that search term or you entertain them. So now bring up a new thing that they need to get solved, create a problem for them and then offer them the solution in the pinned comment and that's going to keep people on your channel. That's going to keep the YouTube algorithm happy and ultimately it's going to help you grow faster, get more subscribers, get more reach, but you can't stop there. There. You need to understand something. When something works on YouTube, it could be a title, it could be an editing style, it can be a topic. You need to continue to hammer that thing over and over and over again. I helped this creator gain 3 million subscribers in just 30 days and they were able to perfectly do this by creating almost the same video over and over and over again. Why? Because they were able to take advantage of the title structure and they were able to take advantage of YouTube's recommendation system where if somebody watched a video of this person and they liked it and he made another video very similar, they would then get recommended that video and again, they would watch it again, which ultimately turned into them watching his videos over and over and over again, them becoming subscribers, him getting more comments, him getting more likes, him making more money, him totally changing his life, all from implementing the same exact strategy that I just served with you. Now, if you wanna get guaranteed subscribers on YouTube, the same exact way that everybody in this video that I share with you has, then you need to keep watching this video because I'm gonna share with you exactly how I can tell you what to post, what titles to use, what thumbnails to use, what hashtags to use to guarantee that you get more subscribers on YouTube. If that sounds interesting, then keep watching this video. Finally, I just launched my YouTube Shorts Mentorship Program, which guarantees that I can help you grow on YouTube in just 30 days. If you wanna find out more, go to the link in the description, but to put it simply, you're gonna go through six steps to becoming a YouTube Shorts expert. Then I'm gonna make you a personalized plan. I'm gonna tell you exactly what to post, what titles to use, what thumbnails to use, what descriptions to use, what tags to use, what your content should actually look like, how your editing should be, and so much more. And then for the next 30 days, I'm gonna critique your content to guarantee that you grow. It's incredibly simple. If you don't grow on YouTube in the 30 days, I'm gonna give you your money back, zero questions 
questions asked. This is not just a course. This is not just information. It's me actually telling you exactly what to do, critiquing you, consulting, me coaching you on how to be a full-time YouTuber, how to grow on YouTube, how to reach your goals on YouTube. And again, if you don't grow on YouTube in the 30 days, you get your money back, zero questions asked. There's absolutely no risk for signing up. The only risk is not taking advantage of this situation right now with YouTube Shorts and growing on YouTube. So please do not be somebody that does that. That being said, if you're not interested, just watch the next two videos I'm gonna put up on the screen because they're the videos that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.